Hi everyone and welcome to our full ship tour of p Cruises Arcadia. This tour was filmed during our 14 night Norwegian Fjords Iceland and Island cruise in July 2019. Entering service in 2005 and weighing in at around 84,000 tonnes, in modern terms Arcadia is classed as a mid-sized ship. However it has to be said, what Arcadia lacks in scale, she certainly makes up for in style. As always, we're going to begin our tour in the main atrium. Arcadia's atrium spans over three decks. It has to be said this is probably one of the most underwhelming atriums in the Pino fleet, probably due to its enclosed cylindrical design. However, on a more positive note, the atrium has a beautiful glass ceiling feature, which we really admired. On the first level of the atrium, down on deck one, you'll find the main reception. Here, the friendly staff will take care of any questions or queries you might have. Those looking to purchase a future cruise should look no further than the future cruise sales office. You'll find two of these desks either side of the atrium. Opposite the main reception, just tucked in the corner, we have the tour office. This is the place to go to book your shore excursions and find out more about your upcoming ports of call. Heading up to deck 2 you will find Intermezzo, a great place to people watch, drink a coffee and admire the view out to sea all at the same time. Not wandering off too far from the atrium, we are now going to take a look at Ocean Grill. Ocean Grill is one of Arcadia's select dining options. Here, for a small additional fee, you can enjoy sumptuous meals created by Marco Pierre White. We recommend you book here early, as this restaurant is very popular and we don't want you to miss out. We dined here once and really enjoyed it. The service was fabulous, as was the food. We were lucky enough to have a window table, meaning we could admire the ocean whilst enjoying our meal. The piano bar is found on deck 3, the uppermost level of the main atrium. Here you can enjoy some live entertainment during the evening and grab some pre-dinner drinks. This is the perfect bar to meet up with friends and people watch while soaking up the atmosphere. We're now going to work our way up through the ship deck by deck. Starting forward down on deck 1, we have the Palladium Theatre. The Palladium Theatre has 736 seats spread out over three decks in various arrangements, even private boxes are available. With all these seating choices, you have various angles to admire West End style production shows, local artists brought on from your ports of call and many other performances. Heading aft, next up we have the Monte Carlo Casino. There's plenty of ways to test your luck with a number of machines and a selection of tables. Will it be black or red? Right next door to the casino we have the Rising Sun. The Rising Sun is your local at sea. Serving the range of drinks including a large selection of beers and beer flights, this is definitely somewhere you'll want to visit. Look out for the pork scratchings, they're very Moorish and worth the minimal extra supplement. 
The Rising Sun is also home to various quizzes, the daily bingo, and everyone's favourite, karaoke. If you fancy admiring or expanding your own collection of artwork, look no further than Arcadia's White Wall Gallery found on Deck 2, just next to the casino. During our cruise you could purchase pieces by Philip Gray, who was also on board showcasing his work and doing talks. Just off the art gallery we have The Globe. The Globe is Arcadia's late night entertainment venue that transforms into a nightclub afterwards. As we've already covered Intermezzo and Ocean Grill, we're now going to skip past these and onto the Spinnaker Bar. The Spinnaker Bar is a comfortable and relaxing bar and lounge area. Featuring a number of interesting ship models, this is the ideal place to sit back and relax with a good book. Heading further aft on deck 2, we find ourselves at the Meridian Restaurant. The Meridian Restaurant is Arcadia's main dining room, which spans over two decks, connected by a staircase located in the centre. The lower level is used for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea and fixed dining during the evening. Those lucky enough to be sitting all the way aft will be treated to fantastic panoramic views of Arcadia's waking out to sea. The upper level on deck 3 is encompassed by Arcadia's promenade deck. This level is used for freedom dining. This allows you to choose your time and table size. Don't worry if there isn't a table available when you arrive, as you'll be given a pager and called when one becomes available. Heading up to deck 3, forward, you'll find the Palladium Theatre, which we've already covered so we're now going to show you the screening room. This is Arcadia Cinema, you can collect tickets for this from the library, just get there really as seating is limited. Next up we have the Ocean Room and Bay Room, which are multi-purpose rooms used to host activities such as arts and crafts, card games and other recreational activities. Serving Costa Coffee and a wide selection of Tea Pigs Tea, Cafe Vivo can be found right next door to the screening room. Don't forget to ask for cake with your order, as it's all included. Next to Cafe Vivo, you will find the well-used library. Shopaholics will be pleased to find a wide variety of watches, handbags, fragrances and clothing available in the various shops on board. There is also the P&O shop for P&O branded items and souvenirs. Heading past the piano bar and atrium, we make our way through the gin emporium and onto the photo gallery. During your cruise, the ship's photographers will be out and about taking photos of you. You are under no obligation to buy, so be sure to give them a smile. You can browse and purchase your photographs here, at the photo gallery. Arcadia has a full wraparound promenade on deck 3. It's the perfect place to stretch your legs and admire the scenery. Panoramic glass lifts will take you from deck 1 up to deck 11, and are a nice touch of spectacular views out to sea. Decks 4 to 8 are passenger cabin decks. Our inside cabin was on deck 6. To see a more in-depth tour of our cabin, check out our inside cabin tour video. All the way forward on deck 6, you'll find the forward viewing balcony. Open to all guests on port days, it's a handy spot for getting some fresh air and admiring your ports of call.
Arcadia has a wide variety of dining options, so overindulgent is easy to do, but don't worry as you'll find a fully equipped gym up on deck 9. A number of free and paid for classes are available, an instructor is usually on hand if you need more information about these. Just outside the gym you'll find an observation deck, this is the ideal place to cool off after your workout and admire the scenery. The Oasis Spa and Salon offers an escape from the everyday strains and stresses of life. Recharge and unwind here by either having a massage, a soak in the hydrotherapy pool or why not indulge in some of the beauty treatments on offer. Don't just look good, feel good too. Just be sure to book early to avoid disappointment. Right outside the spa entrance you'll find a sauna that all guests can use at no additional cost. Next up we have the Neptune pool. We're going to skip this area for now, we'll come back here when we tour Arcadia's open sun decks later on. You'll never go hungry in Arcadia, the Belvedere buffet is open 19 hours a day from 6.30am. Here you can get breakfast, lunch, dinner and other snacks throughout the day. You will find plenty of seating, but at peak times it can get very busy. However, provided the weather is on your side, you can sit out at the Aquarius Pool, just after the Belvedere Buffet. Crow's Nest is our favourite bar on board Arcadia. Up here, large panoramic windows offer spectacular views ahead and out to sea. In the evening, you will find live musicians playing, giving the bar a relaxed ambience. It's the perfect place to sit back, relax, and watch the world go by with a cocktail in hand. Just off the crow's nest on the starboard side you'll find the Viceroy Room, a multi-purpose function room used for presentations and ceremonies at sea. The Retreat, unlike its namesake on other P&O ships, is a multi-purpose room used for dance classes and other indoor functions, found on deck 10, midship, just beneath the East Restaurant and Bar. Heading up to deck 11 we have the East Bar and Restaurant. The East Bar is the ideal place to go and get some pre-dinner drinks before heading into the restaurant next door. Large forward facing windows overlook the Neptune Pool, as well as offering views ahead and out to sea. Next to the East Bar we have the Sindua East Restaurant. Sindhu is our favourite select dining restaurant on any P&O ship and it certainly didn't disappoint us on Arcadia. Here you will find authentic Indian cuisine with a British twist. 
perfectly balanced spices combined with opulent decor in this popular select dining venue. Open for breakfast for sweet guests, a tiffin lunch on sea days and offering a popular evening menu, booking early is essential. Let's take a look at Arcadia's open decks. Arcadia has ample amounts of open deck space, ideal for sun worshippers or those who just want to sit back and relax. There's a large sunbathing area forward, just beneath the mast. Next up, we have the Neptune Pool. The Neptune Pool features a retractable glass roof, so it can be used in any weather, rain or shine. Here you'll also find three whirlpools, the Neptune Bar and Neptune Grill. The bar serves refreshments and ice creams and the grill serves a range of burgers, hot dogs and tasty snacks. Heading up, you'll find another sun deck. This area can be found above the East Restaurant and just forward of Arcadia's Funnel. Continuing aft, along Deck 10, on either side of the funnel, you'll find deck games such as Deck Hoits and Shuffleboard. But if you're feeling a little bit more energetic, you'll be pleased to know there's a sports court and golf nets available, tucked up just behind the funnel. Right at the back of the ship, on deck 9, you'll find the Aquarius Pool and Bar. The Aquarius Pool is deeper than the Neptune Pool and also features two whirlpools. Alongside the bar and opposite, you'll find some sheltered seating, ideal if you want to escape the sun. However, there's also plenty of sun loungers available too. We hope you've enjoyed this tour and found it really useful. If you did, please give the video a like and remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Enjoy your cruise!